What are we even doing here? I love fish. I mean, lots of people love fish, but fish are tricky. If you wanna eat them, you gotta find some fresh fish, and then you gotta cook them, or you gotta find somebody that's gonna cook them for you hey. and deliver them to you. So when you love something as much as I love fish, you wanna put them in a can so that you can access them at any time. Golly, the Japanese are so good at putting fish in a can, and they do it in a way that's a little bit different from the sardines that I usually enjoy. So what are we even doing here? Well, I've gone out and I've bought some Japanese canned fish. And I'm gonna try them for you, for you. God damn, I can't wait to check these out. Let's go. J Basketo Burando, Saba no Kabayaki, seasoned and broiled mackerel. Open up the can here. Uh, see what we find. Okay. What are we looking at? Huh. Looks like kind of a larger fish that's uh, in halves. We've got skin, got fat. Looks good. Smells good. You know, not much to do, but just try it. See how it goes. A nice big hunky piece of fish. Oh, this piece is even bigger. So you can see how big around these fish are. Pretty nice. Okay, let me take another big bite here. Mm. Yummy. I think if you put this out with uh, you know a little bit of odds and ends, a little salad, some rice. Uh, this would be a really nice part of an ensemble, you know? Let's see. Tell you what, 219 a can, you can't go wrong. Oh my goodness. So good. ICC Brando, Sanma no Kabayaki, Salary in Sugar and Soy Sauce. I got this in a care package from my Aunt Apachan in Japan. And uh, salary is kind of like, a, I don't know, it's kind of like this long skinny fish. I guess they must live up at the surface of the water. This is what I read off Wikipedia. And uh, I don't know. Let's see how different they are from sardines, huh? Let's open this up. So first of all, it comes in this dark sauce. Um, got some skin here. All right. Not a huge fish, but you can see like, we've got these sort of, uh, they look like bisected parts that are cut up. All right. What are these? Are these tiny little bones? I think these are those tiny little bones that run into the fins. Or maybe they're actually the little like uh, fin, I don't know, ribs or something. Whatever you got, whatever you call those. Boy, those taste good. This sauce is ripping. Very interesting flavor. Kind of a kind of a mushier texture here. Um, I'm getting kind of the same thing you get from uh, little tinned oysters. Some of that flavor. I don't know if it's just a sauce. It's different. It's definitely different from sardines. Even sardines in this kind of a sauce. It's really tasty. Cowabunga. I got a little bit of spine here. Nice. You know that calcium's there for you. Okay, ICC brand salary. Delicious, interesting, easy to eat. On to the next one. Hagoromo Burando. Iwashi de Kenko Shoyu to sardines in sugar and soy sauce. Pull this open. Oh, yeah. These guys are um, all chopped up, which uh, I don't know. I just kind of like that. Pretty, pretty skin. These spots. Motherfucker. Oh, got some uh, spine in here. 
Wow. Boy, having this um, kind of sugared up soy sauce really knocks them right out of the park, you know? Kind of makes anything taste good, but you can tell these are some nice sardines. Mm. Nice fat around the sides there. Nice strong snap in the spinal cord and other bones. Just some kind of taste in here that I don't find in um, the American sardines that I get, or even like some of the European ones. I don't know if that's, I just don't know. I'd like to find some Japanese sardines that are packaged in spring water or something that aren't in um, aren't in this like soy sauce or or miso sauce because I just I'd like to see if there's something different about the fish itself or the catch them over there. Golly, call that a win for Hagaromo. Hagaromo. These names are tough. Tough for me. I've been hearing Japanese since I was a little kid. And, uh, I don't know. Hardly gets any easier. Nisui Burando, Iwashi no Misuni, Sardines in Miso Paste. I've had these a lot. So, you know, these are, uh, these are a known quantity. I think they're going to be pretty good. Get them open. What do we got? Oh, yeah. So these ones, um... They don't look, uh, they don't look cut up, okay? And we've got just the two in here, but look at them. Look how pretty these guys are. Look at these spots that they got on there. Oh my goodness. Can you just imagine seeing like thousands of these guys just swimming all around you? Oh, man. That miso tastes so good. Those bones are nice and snappy. One stabbed me in the back of the throat just now. God, he's two beautiful fish. This creamy miso sauce really, um, really melds with the, the fat that you find, you know, on the outside of the fish really well. Salty, but not too salty. Son of a gun. I can't wait to have another can of those. Nisui brando, Iwashi no shoyu ni. Sardines in sugar and soy sauce. Okay. What do we got? Got three in here. They're uh, about normal size. They're laying in this sauce. They look beautiful, coming apart. Oh my god, they're just glistening on the inside, you know? Delicious. Um, maybe, um, maybe I don't prefer them as much as the miso ones, you know? Still pretty good though. I mean, we got most of the skin here. Hmm. Look at this one. This is the best piece in the can. Uh, you can almost just imagine this guy swimming through the ocean, you know, living his life, doing sardine stuff, thinking sardine thoughts. Yeah, that was definitely the best one out of, uh, out of those three, you know? Yeah. Beautiful guy. So what did we learn here? First of all, all of the fish that I tried was of a very high quality. And I didn't pick like the top shelf or anything. These are just the ones that they have at the store. Secondly, everything seemed to come in either a sweet soy sauce or a miso flavor. Now I recommend you try both because even if you're not familiar with the miso, uh, it's really a common way to prepare fish in Japan. So, you know, let's get on with it. 
So as usual, you just can't go wrong. If you already like Western style sardines, I recommend you go to the local Asian grocery store and give these a try. It's gonna be like taking something you already like and making it new and different. Like when my wife dyes her hair, or when you dress your cat up like Spider-Man, or vice versa. So anyway, I'm gonna let you go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.